We started. If Bianca was here, you wouldn't be doing this. I would. We're starting it naturally this week. Has it started naturally? It started. See? It naturally. started naturally. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. It's a week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm Andy, this is Josh, and boy, we've got an exciting episode to, to tell you about this week. Don't we, Josh? We do. That's why we're headbanging, because it's that exciting. It's... All the stuff that's coming out of where... We've got dinosaurs, we've got Spider-Man, we've got uh, witches and... Uh, Pop toys. Uh, Funko. So many Got things. I'm so figures. excited we even had a false start. We did Sorry, a false start. Um, we had a false start. Blake. Don't um, talk about it. Uh, people are asking. Blake no, then no. made a little premature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're, we're ready to go now, aren't we, Josh? So everyone has turned into this natural yeah. start that you wanted? Yeah, if you're ready to start, I'm ready to start. Let's go! Let's we're, go! We're, we're get, we should get chairs for this. Guys, <laughs> it's a week interview here at Pop Culture. Uh, we've got so many cool things to show you uh, that have come to the warehouse this week, and we also have some awesome things to give away, uh, because that's what we like to do. We like to uh, wow you with some cool things that have come to the warehouse, and then we like to treat you cool things. Um, with a couple of cool things from the table. So, this week we are giving away two prizes, plus a prize that will Randomly picked. Totally, totally at random. The prizes that we're giving away this week are this, this uh, Bambi backpack. Bambi from Bambi Last Fly Back. You, it's got all your favorites. Like, it's got Bambi. Mighty, it's mighty, got Thumper. It's got uh, Flower. I think the guy's name is. You're gonna look mighty dandy with that Bambi backpack on your back when you're dandy. Dandy. <laughs> uh, uh, and we're also, also giving away this Playmobil 18 van, complete with. Cartons of milk, and the, that was that clear that I tried to grab those out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not anyway, you smudged it. <laughs> it's a very clear windscreen. Uh, uh, we're giving it away. It's the A team. It's got the A team. All four. It does. The A team. Um, B A Baracus and friends. Um, Doctor Octopus. <laughs> yeah, name more of the A team. H- H- Hannibal. Burris. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Um, uh, so guys, if you want to win a prize, boy, we're really rocking this. No, just just rock me. If you want to win a prize, all you need to do is, um, just leave a comment on the feed. Luke is watching the feed attentively, trying to get his attention, ask us a question, leave us a comment. Uh, Luke's going to pick some names at random. Just, just we're going to put those names on the prize wheel, and at the end, end of the episode, we're going to spin the prize wheel, and people are going to win prizes. And it's going to be a lot of fun. But we've got so much to talk about, Josh. We may as well get stuck into it. Yep. Do you want to talk about AFL? Cards because that'll just really hype you up, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about footy cards. Your hair footy... this week, Josh. <laughs> My hair. Yeah. What about it? Nothing, man. Just All tell right. us about cards. Um, it's good. It's footy season started, which means there's a, there's a new lot of footy cards that have come in. Uh, these are the Team Coach 2022s. We landed them this week. This week? Yeah. Because it's a week in review, so it would have had to have been this week. That's how um, the works. We've also got the album as well, which comes with a little card inside it. Um, not necessarily representative of Jake Stringer, but um, we also have the 2022 Select Footy Stars available on the website. Josh, team Coach, is tell me, what's the difference between the, the stars and Team uh, Coach? Well, Team Coach, you can play a game. You can, you can make a game out of Team Coach. Actually, it comes in the album. There's a little uh, instruction manual about how you can play the game. I think it's largely done online now. Um, but I'm sure if you've got enough friends that collect Team Coach, you can do it. So is this yourself. one more of like, you're actually building a team, opposed to just like yeah. collecting Yeah, there's cards. like a fantasy element to it. Whereas Ooh. Footy Stars is more like you collect a sports cars. They're a little bit more... Um, Primo? Yeah, well, I wouldn't say Primo, like... Team coach looks really good, but the footy stars are kind of they're laid out a little bit differently, so they kind of look a lot more or like a traditional a, trading card. Yeah, they're a collectible card. Whereas I feel like these are a trading card, and the other ones are like a sports collectible right. card. So they have um, like some sweet stats or anything on them. These the team, team coach, coach do stats. Yeah. Um, footy stars, I think, do stats as well, but they do them on the back. So t- if you're looking for detail, like if you're like, oh, I really want to know. Um, how many intercept marks Tom Stewart took last season. Team coach is where you go. If you're like, oh, I really like Tom Stewart, and I think if I get a Tom Stewart card, it's going to be a worthwhile investment. Footy Stars is the way to go. See, I do know stuff about things that we sell. There you go. I don't know who Tom Stewart is, but um, <laughs> I'm going to take your word for it. He, he plays for the Cats. The Geelong Cats? The Geelong Cats. <laughs> I know those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm aware of them. Um, so... Is that all the cards we have to talk about this week, Josh? Uh, yeah. So are you gonna 
keep talking about stuff this week, Josh? Uh, I think that's it for me, to right. be honest. Um, I don't know, $105, so it's free shipping in Australia. Do you want anything else other than that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If you want to go and get Sandy for me, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, I would. Sandy's not here. He's away on holiday at the moment in Queensland. In Queensland. <laughs> Right, I thought it was Gippsland last time. <laughs> <laughs> um, from last time, the eggs not here. I'm sorry. So I'm just trying to why this show is like it is at the moment because there's no like um, rock. There's no like stable influence. It's just too... you don't have anyone else to distract you when the other person's talking. No, yeah, right. it's the one. Um, from last time, we have an awesome new Bambi backpack that we're giving away. If you missed the start of the episode, it was a very long start of the episode, so it would have been hard to miss. Um, but we're giving away this Bambi backpack. All you need to do is go into the running to win is leave a comment on this feed. Luke is picking names at random from the feed to put on the prize wheel. And at the end of the episode, Josh, we're going to spin the prize wheel, and uh, someone's going to win this awesome, awesome prize. But this is cool. Um, it's uh, got a nice illustration of Bambi, uh, Thumper, and I think the, I think it's Flower. I don't know. I haven't seen Bambi in so no, long. But it's not Flower. What is it? What's the skunk's name? Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, in addition to illustration, it's actually got some cool um, little rhinestone um, sequins and some studding to kind of bring some depth to the, um, the flower aspects of that. Um, it's very, um, what's it, what's, what's it called? Cottage core? Is yeah. that a thing? Yeah. yeah. It's very cottage <laughs> What? That's a thing. Cottage core. Cottage core is cottage a thing. Core. It's a thing. It's like a... It's an aesthetic movement where, uh, cool hip youths, uh, mm -hmm. want to live more of a rural, traditional lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Rural, rural but cute. cute. Yeah. It's gotta be cute. And they wanna be have to be idealistic. Core. They're no one's starving, like... no one's pooping outside. No. No, no but it's like... It's they, tall fields of grass, like, yeah. and um, forest edges, and, and baked, witches' houses. They yeah. bake yeah. like... And just like wild flowers everywhere. Is, it, is it like... It's Snow White without the doors. Oh, yeah, oh, I think Snow White's... Are they no, no, trying no, to be I, like... <laughs> Self-sufficient? No, they just want they like the, they like. They the, want to look like they are. They, they still, they they still get their deliveries. From remind me, remind me. They like the mood. Yeah. Yeah. They like the mood. Remind me after the show. That and I'll show you. It's purely aesthetic. I'll show you, I'll show you, <laughs> I'll show you someone on TikTok that is like cottage core one hundred and one. I'll show you, and then you'll understand. Okay, all right. Anyway, we've got this cottage core Bambi backpack. Um, really nice illustrative design on the back. You've got uh printed Bambi uh name with more flowers. Uh, cool contrast um, straps, side pocket, uh, and a little leaf um, zipper pull uh, enamel zipper pull there, which is really cool. So that's what we got for the lounge fly this week. Well, it wasn't much of a big delivery for a lounge fly, but no. um, so that, that's that's um, that's from lounge fly. From Funko, Josh, we have got a couple of cool things. We do. So we got the um, <laughs> put, put it down, put it over there. Trying. Put it over there. Yes, we need to pick it up. Come on, Josh. Okay. Just wait for it. All right, well, let's play. Um, so we've got some <laughs> WandaVision uh, the moments. So uh, what do they call these? Funko moments? So these are mini moments. Mini moments. So they're little right. dioramas that have little, um, I think they're pine size heroes, but they might not be um, <laughs> similar to them anyway. But uh, they've previously done The Office, they've done Seinfeld, Seinfeld. Uh, and now they're doing WandaVision. And um, different, obviously, the, the show has different eras of, uh, of uh, television uh, that it references. And uh, they're doing the same thing with the same lounge setting. Uh, we've got 1960s Wanda and Vision, and we've got 1970s Wanda and Geraldine. Uh, and of course, there is the, uh, the Pelican there as well, which is a nice little touch. Uh, it's not canon. remember it's the not canon. episode that actually was canon, it's not canon. was on the screen. Um, um, let's come back to Funko. What? Because, whoa, Handsome Will's here. Handsome, handsome Will is here, my goodness. And you got a haircut. I got a haircut last weekend. Look at that. Arguably more handsome than ever. I miss, oh, I, I, I miss the middle part. But, but he still got his hiking shoes on. I do, because they're yeah, comfortable and they're warm. Yeah. Hey. I do oh, wear them. They're good shoes, but maybe I'll go for a hike after this. Good You're not going to go for a hike. I'm not going to go for a hike. I'm going to go straight home. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about records. This week, as every week, i got a selection of records that have come in stock throughout the week, and I'm going to be showing them off. So, starting us off, Ren and Stimpy, You Idiot. This is a sort of soundtrack, um, sort of songs written by the writers and the voice actors of the show for the show within the themes of the show. Um, but basically, it's a really fun, quirky collection of songs from Ren and Stimpy. 
um, that's just a really joyous listen. Um, this one is Australian exclusive. It's pressed on a blue and white vinyl with the white going down in a stripe in the middle. Um, if you check it out on the website, I'm sure you guys will see the photos. But yeah, really awesome soundtrack from a really iconic 90s show. And um, yeah, it's in stock and shipping now. Oh boy. Is it the most iconic 90s show? Sorry? It was the most Luke. iconic 90s show. Oh, it's a big influence on me for sure. So Luke knows everything about the 90s. He knows everything about Brennan Stimpy. And the 90s. And Wolf, if, you, if anybody has any questions <laughs> in the comments about the 90s, Luke is here to answer them. You have any 90s oh, Warhammer questions? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, moving on. We've got a massive shipment in from Waxworks Records, so that's going to be the main focus of the rest of this segment, um, just because there's been so many records and a few other special things, so keep in mind and um, stick around for that. But starting us off is a really awesome score to Righteous Gemstones. Um, this movie, this music is done by Joseph Steffens. Um, it's a really cool, funny show um, that I really liked. I think I only saw the first season, though. I don't think I'm up to date with it. Um, but it's got Adam Devine in it, which I think is a really funny guy, and um, yeah, it's really I cool. watched the second series, it wasn't as good as the first, but no, I, I, it's still alright. It's also Andy's opinion, he only likes movies with symmetry. <laughs> that is not symmetry? True. He does, symmetry and colours. Is he like referring to symmetry? Asymmetry is my preferred balance. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> anyway, this is on white and gold vinyl, and it's a uh, really cool some score if you're into the show. Next up, a show that I really enjoyed, another one, um, Netflix's Haunting of Hill House. Um, so this is a restock of something that sold out pretty quickly on our website, but it's a really awesome score, a really eerie score from a really great show. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it, but yeah, it basically follows the story of a family who lived in a haunted house when they were kids, and the haunt is coming back as it has a few times in the past, and it takes through several timelines to come to a big conclusive ending. But it's a good show, and it's a good score. I just realised that the eyes are her, the, the windows are meant to be oh. her eyes on the cover. Oh. I thought that's nice. So when that's cool. Into her soul. It is in a spooky house, spooky and soul. And she's in you. She's in she you. She is in you. Yeah, I've seen her. I've seen you. Good that's you. okay. <laughs> well, we're talking about the Morning Hill House, Josh. So maybe you watch that one. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> a movie I haven't actually seen. I've seen it. Psycho Gorman. This is great. This is an oh, incredible yeah. movie. Hell yeah. yeah. And you got any words? It, so imagine uh, everything you loved about 80s and 90s um, trash uh, monster movies and add some adult humour to the mix, uh, still out of the mouths of children, and boy, you just have a really messed up... It's like Power Rangers meets E.T. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, it's like E.T., The Goonies, Power Rangers, and Guar made yeah. a movie together. It's intense and it's violent and it's yep. it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't recall exactly the the score itself. I, I think it was good. The whole the whole film's good. So check it out. From memory, it's like sci-fi synths. It definitely yeah, does sound right. Yeah, yeah but um, Psycho Bowman is great. Oh, the brain guy. Yes. <laughs> I have to check that out. Oh, oh. everyone everyone Friday night? What you're watching, Psycho Bowman? No questions. <laughs> Next up, George A. Romero classic, Creepshow. Um, when did it come out? 1982. Um, I haven't actually seen the original. Andy, I'm sure you have. Yeah. It's a good... It's yeah. A, well, the show's good, but the film's really good as well. Oh, is this... This is the film, isn't it? This is the film. Yeah, yeah, it's the film, yeah. Um, but yeah, really iconic score. Another great one to add to your collection. With, again, really cool artwork as waxwork. It's got TV's Ted Dancing in it, in a film. <laughs> Next up, Day of the Dead, another George A. Romero classic. Um, I do remember watching this one when I was a little bit younger, but yep, zombie film, it's a, it's a classic within the genre. Um, it's got a really awesome score. But yeah, again, really awesome artwork coming from Mike's Works Records. Next and last, and not least, um, Stephen King's It. Well, this is actually a different variant. We've already had Stephen King. Stephen King's, <laughs> damn it. Stephanie <laughs> King. <laughs> Why not? It's not that. <laughs> yeah, you got shown up by Josh. It's, it's not that I don't know it. Everybody will have it this minute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, well, get you. I'm going to scribe up to you now. Um, yeah, Stephen King's It. Um, it's on Pennywise suit vinyl. That means it's purple, white, and I believe... Yellow? Yeah. Purple, white, and... 
Purple, white, and the mystery color. color <laughs> uh, it's spread across three LPs. It includes a whole lot of music, um, a whole lot of really eerie, creepy music. Um, but yeah, it's just a classic movie. Doesn't really need much explanation. Um, I'll show you the back. Ooh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, basically three discs of awesome horror soundtrack. That's some spooky stuff right there, Will. Thank Lots you very much stuff. for coming around. But <laughs> stick around, Will, because uh, we've got plenty more to talk about this week, don't we? We do. Oh, we've got so a little bit more from that waxwork let's, record. Let's too. jump back to Funker. And uh, Will, if you want to just, just hang. Just, just, just stand. stand. Just loiter. Just Be part there. of the scenery. Uh, and also part of the team, so feel free to chime in at any time. But Josh, we're talking about one division. We also got some new. We got some. We got um, some pop albums. albums that have come in. One, uh, one being Diary of a Madman, Ozzy Osbourne, when he can still articulate. I think. He, he can't articulate. I'd really like sit to hear Ozzy Osbourne's impersonation, impression of The Godfather. Um, yeah, which will which will make some sense in a little bit. Um, but we also have some other music stuff keeping on that you know kind of records and stuff and music and sounds. Um, pop icons. We got Whitney Houston. So we have Whitney Houston wearing a bandana headband bow thing, um, and we also have a interesting. Just on this, it's got a QR code on the back, so you can scan and actually listen to some Whitney Houston music. Um, um, we also have Whitney Houston singing at a sports event. I want to say Super Bowl. Super Bowl. That's Houston? our exclusive. It's yeah. So exclusive. Um, yeah, if you like Whitney Houston, get some. Do you like Whitney Houston? Uh, yes. Um, we have some bunker sodas as well. We don't have that many this week, but there's still some pretty exciting ones. And then nonetheless, especially Bluto. Um, Bluto is big and he's angry with a beard. Um, we've got Snout, Snout Spout. What's this from, Andy? Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe. That's, this is the best Masters of the Universe thing that I've seen. It's this is the only with the trunk. <laughs> this is the only one that's made me want to watch Masters of the Universe. Well, get ready, Josh. The weekend. You've got plenty of time to do it. I don't have <laughs> chores to do. Um, <laughs> we've got Yakko from... Animaniacs. Animaniacs. Um, wearing pants. Yeah, that's what Yakko did. He wore pants, but he had a cutout for his tail. Um, and then we also have... Eleven from Stranger Things, eating Eggo waffles, which, by the way, are an overrated breakfast food. I tried some and they were dry. Okay, mm. but did you try them in the 1980s? And how did you try them? Did yeah. you put butter on them? No. <laughs> did you, you just eat them out of the box? Yeah. Frozen? Not frozen. Like, not toasted, but what? room temperature. Oh, really? That's not a good way to eat waffles. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't I think say... you're doing it wrong. No, it didn't say on the box, toast them. She doesn't toast them, she shakes them. She's a fugitive. <laughs> she was hungry. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> what? That was, that was so why I that. Josh is like sitting on the floor in some <laughs> dank basement somewhere, just, just mugging on these things. <laughs> and they're no good. <laughs> it's not as good as they looked in the show. Um, for right. a factory entertainment, Josh, we've got a new scale replica with this one being a con exclusive. Con exclusive, He Man Sword. Um, it's purple and yellow. I don't know what that effect is called. Luke, do you remember what this effect's called? Ooh, we is were it, talking about this, were we? It uh, no, it's not what we were talking no. about. This is like, this is kind of like the way oil works, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we were talking about was pearlescent yeah, paint. which this isn't. This is metal and how metal gets, um, different colours of the spectrum applied to it. I think it's, yeah, something like that. Anyway, you it's, guys are uh, both wrong. It's, it's multicoloured. <laughs> it's purple. Thanks, Josh. Rainbow Sparkle technology. Uh, uh, so we, we got some, we got some pens. These are also from Waxworks as well. Will you Will you want to talk about pens, or you want me to talk about pens? Or you want uh, will Will definitely want to talk about pens. Will you talk about the pens? I want to talk about the Warriors pens. <laughs> no, you don't get to talk about them. <laughs> we got we got the the fairies, the punks, the rogues, and the oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fairies in the Warriors. <laughs> You haven't seen it. It wasn't well. me. I have seen that. That's my it dad's favorite movie of all time. I've seen it so many times. This this is great because it's a bunch of the um, bunch of the gangs that the Warriors uh, <laughs> interact with on the way home to Coney Island, um, including the Furies, uh, the baseball Furies, and uh, the I'd Punks. I'd be more inclined to watch it if it was the Furies, the baseball <laughs> Furies, <laughs> and um, uh, the orphans, who were definitely the worst gang out of that. Um, I felt bad for them. I just felt <laughs> bad. Get off the stoop! 
Why? They all walked down our it's street. Like, that was the whole, that was the whole shtick. There were better, there were yeah. better gangs to get to in that movie. Yeah, so. there were better gangs. But yeah, some of the iconic gangs that get encountered by the Warriors throughout that film, you can represent them now with these awesome pins. Um, next up, Beetlejuice Pins, another awesome franchise that we here at Pop Culture love. Um, first up, Sandworm. If you remember that creepy place that they get teleported to in the desert, and they meet the Sandworm. It's an iconic Sandworm. He's a burning imagery. And just a he bit is. of trivia, if anybody knows in the comments, what yeah. is the Sandworm called? I don't think it gets named. Does it, it does. It has um, a name. What is it? You don't know. I do. I do. <laughs> don't I'll know wait, anything. Wait and see what the comments have to say. Um, <laughs> we've also got the uh, Sword and Half Lady yeah. from The Waiting Room. Yeah. And uh, the handbook for the recently deceased, which I think I'm definitely going to have to pick up because that's a great. Yeah, thing. it's an awesome thing. My goodness. Um, boy, so much more to talk about though, Will. Yeah, um, <laughs> there is a bit more. Going forward, we've got the creep show television. Um, like I said, I haven't seen this, so I don't actually know what scene that's from or anything. Uh, so the um, the, fil- the it's centered around all the different short films in it, uh, like channel um, changes. Ah, right. Um, and then next up, trick or treat. Um, so we've got Sam and the Jack O' Lantern. There's also supposed to be a lollipop one, is it? Uh oh. <laughs> well, we're missing that one. Um, well, yeah, we got Sam and the Jack O' Lantern in there. Um, Two awesome pins that represent two main themes in that film. Um, next up, a couple of Jordan Peele ones. So from the movie Us, we've got the brass scissors and the Hands Across America pin. What um, I like about the Hands Across America pin is that it's from the Hands Across America backing card as well. So it really just looks like the poster in the, in the film. Yeah. I liked that movie. Us was a good movie. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. Um, Moving forward, um, <laughs> few from Friday the Thirteenth. So first up, we get the damaged mask. Um, I think that's from I want to say Jason Goes to Hell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Jason Goes to Hell. Um, but that's that that sort of appears in a few films. The mask. So it's just a cool variation on that. Um, next up, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, the sack mask, mm. and Friday the Thirteenth Part Three, the three D mask. Yeah. Um, so some awesome little got the axe in his head. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's where it gets the iconic axe in the head cut out of the mask. It's in all the other movies. It's right, it's right there. See? We're getting, we're getting a lot of answers coming through about the name of the worm. Josh doesn't know. Seem to be to you planet related. A lot of people seem to think Saturn. No. The Jupiter's worm. gone into the mix. The worm was called... Someone else just said it was called Josh. Uh-huh. The worm's name was Leroy. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Terrible. Alright. <laughs> anyway. Well, we also got some t-shirts. Yeah, so my t-shirts. Nice. Another awesome Friday the 13th themed one. I really like this one quite a lot, uh, because today's Friday. So, <laughs> um, it's Friday, I'm in love. And uh, of course, Friday the 13th being uh, the reference that they're making here with this mm. hockey mask. Um, and that, you know, that's a good reference. I like that a lot. And I think um, these, these are smalls. They are. But they run very small. They do run small, so size up. Oh. Um, because Luke put on a small and... Yeah. Boy, it was tough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of waxwork records ones. So this is waxwork records. Music to make you uh, from wake you from the dead. Uh, I'm reading upside down, people. Uh, but that's a really great design. Um, and uh, uh, this is a cool one. Uh, where they're the running away from drop. the needle. Yeah, um, that's cool. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on. And uh, another great one, uh, we have Vinyl Worship. So Vinyl fans uh, want to grab, grab this as well. Um, but range of sizes, right, Will? What do we got? Yeah, um, most of them are small through to extra large. Um, again, size up, people. Yeah, with the one exception of, I think, the... the vinyl Worship? Wake... Oh, yeah, Vinyl Worship one, actually. Yeah, that goes up to double XL. But yeah, range of sizes for everybody. Um, but that takes us to the end of the waxwork stuff. Well, you don't have to leave. You can't oh, stick around. Oh, I can't around. stay. <laughs> you're, allowed, <laughs> you're, you're always been allowed to stay. Do you okay. want to talk about Jurassic World? Um, I can talk about Jurassic da, World, da, but da, da, da. don't know much about these products. Well, I know all um, about these products. This is a go away, Will. <laughs> Look at this. Look how great this is. This is the Albertosaurus. Uh, and oh, you turn his tail, button. and you press his mouth, and you can be like, Hey, I'm an Albertosaurus, everybody! And then you can get the Velociraptor <laughs> and put the Velociraptor ah, in his mouth. Ah, and... ah, kissing. Uh, anyway, these are all from like Jurassic kissing. World Camp Cretaceous, which is a show for children, but it's still scary. 
that. It's not scary. Is it scary? It's not scary. Look at this Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. <laughs> you nailed it, buddy. Oh, I like that one. Andy, how does this one work? Uh, you put the tail up. Puts its yes. wings out. Oh, these are fun. Yeah, these are uh, great. So they're all interactive. Um, and head bubble one. Nice. <laughs> He's rocking out. I really feel like um, you figured it out yet. I have not. <laughs> it's on the back. Yeah, tail. It's oh, tail. Pull the leg back. Oh, the other leg. No, you don't do anything yeah. with that one. Oh, uh, no. But these are really great. These are from Mattel. Um, and these remind me a lot about the, the Lost World Jurassic Park toys I had as a kid because they were all interactive. You pulled legs and they roar and their heads would move and stuff. So I'm a big fan of toys like this. And I like to see it with some new, cool, updated dino designs, um, which are really great. We have some other action figures to talk about as well from Bandai. Um, we got some Dragon Ball Super action figures starting at the top. We got uh, Goten and then Super Saiyan Broly Dragon Ball Super version, just in case there was any Dragon Ball related confusion. Um, we have uh, <laughs> Mutant Roshi. Um, I haven't seen Dragon Ball Super, but, but I imagine he got big. He got he got he big. got, he got big. jacked. He's been he's been talking the world. Um, we've got um, down here. Piccolo, um, with his, he's got his, his finger thing that he does when he uses his brain power. Um, future Trunks, because if you didn't know, Trunks comes from the future to save the present. Um, and last, but certainly not least, Super Saiyan Goku, complete with some Kamehameha blasts, which is pretty exciting. And what is also exciting, Josh, we are also selling the World Martial Arts Tournament. Tournament. So, these... That's, that's, that's cool. That's a good arena to have. The I, drag, was that, I that thought that was the well? Simpsons house. Is that oh my god. god. <laughs> oh, <boy>. Sorry. <laughs> I think there are bits of diorama that you can take out, but essentially, uh, it's, it's a stage where you can... What, what you can Pit your uh, your what? fighters together. Um, it looks like it is yeah. definitely breakable. <laughs> yeah, so you can you can like throw Piccolo into the wall and the wall will break up. That's pretty cool. So this these are designed for these Dragon Stars um, action figures. So these this collection and I've only shown you about half of the figures that have arrived. We've got uh, dozens of these characters. Uh, you definitely want to grab a World Martial Arts Tournament play set to go along with it. Uh, because there's no better way to display your figures than, mm -hmm. than putting him We're, in combat. And or play with them. Especially with uh, Super Saiyan Goku, you've got some cool um, Kamehameha attacks to, to throw at people, which is really great. So, um, check that out, that's really we, great. We got a pretty big Bandai delivery, didn't we, this week? Well, it was huge. We got some, some One Piece stuff in there, certainly some other Dragon Ball things. Can we get some some other anime? I think we did. We'll, we'll, if we've got space on the table, we'll show, it, show you next week. Um, but we also got some cool new things from Hasbro. Uh, now, these are glow-in-the-dark, ectoplasm, goo-covered Ghostbusters, uh, based on Ghostbusters... Is it Ghostbusters 2, Luke? It's actually it's it's based, based on Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Is it like uh, no. early, is it early on in the one? One yeah. that gets slimed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah pink, the, the, pink, the pink goo is the second. Yes. yes. Yeah. Slime, um, slime the first one because of slime. So based on the original design of the characters from um, from original yeah, Ghostbusters, from, from and, I, and I say original design because we also have just landed the afterlife versions of these characters as well. Um, but uh, cool. make them fight. Make them fight in the world martial arts tournament arena. Ooh. Uh, the green glows. Uh, their um, the beams uh, glow as well. Uh, and the great likeness of the actors. Um, so definitely want to add these to your collection. Uh, I'm a big fan. I'm a boy, I'm a big fan. Um, we got some. Uh, we got some, we've got some higher end action. We figures. do have some higher end. Let's keep it on. Let's well, keep it on no, action. Well, let's, figures. let's stay here. Let's talk about this because we're giving it away. Why? We're, we're giving this away. This is Playmobil. It is the A Team van, um, complete with all the. <laughs> um, um, I'm gonna stay up here. We're, we're, we're talking about the Yankee event. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're gonna need to have experts. Sandy yeah. just broke it. No, it's, we're not giving away this one. We'll give away it. Uh, this, this is Sandy's one. one that he uh, But no, I just wanted everybody to see on this. <laughs> I wanted everyone to see the inside. That's yeah. Yeah, well, the inside the is all over the floor. Yeah. Now. The inside is all over the floor. Josh, I said that. Oh. Sandy, when did you get back from Queensland? The inside is all over the floor. Sandy's never been Josh. Josh, Josh, you can yeah. break it. This, hey, it's mine. It's all right. This is all the right. coolest thing ever. It's the Playmobil 
A-Team van uh, from the A-Team. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if that's actually the. That yeah. is. Yeah, I was just listening. I was just listening to it actually. Yeah, yeah. Can you fill us in on what the milk thing is? Josh, you need to back up. You need to back up. Everybody, everybody knows the risks of having me in these rooms. Yeah. So there's no, I'm and not taking. And, and I wonder why I'm not on the shows anymore. <laughs> uh, yes, the milk. The milks. Uh, they It's Ba Barak's favorite favorite drink. Milk and fun. Yep. <laughs> yep. Don't don't I uh, pity the fool that doesn't drink milk. That's his phrase. I pity the fool that doesn't have one of these eighteen flavor meal cups. Yep. As do I. So I just stick of those with the little logos as well. That that was you me. Did a good job, yeah, thanks. Uh, and then there's Mr. Socko, because uh, um Good fun day. story about him, uh, uh the, the the wrestler gave it to him. Nick Yeah, that was yeah, 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 yeah. He gave it to Socko. Yep. Canon. Yeah, canon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can do heaps of stuff, and obviously the inside's ruined because of Josh, but uh, the door's open, uh, so there are actually a couple of entrances for the characters. You've got the back door, you've got the side door, and um, you can take off the, the, the top. For you the, can take yeah. off the top. Yep. But yeah, this is really awesome. I'm going to take a deep dive into this bad boy next week. Uh, so you better... You better yeah, watch out, Sandy's done an in-depth review that'll be hitting uh, the site next week. So, yeah. Sandy, can you stick it's around? Because I feel like works. you're going to be a more valuable yep. co-host yep. in this next section. Then, hey, Josh, Will, feel free to chime in anytime. Yeah. Josh, take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Well, I, want to, I want to talk about some stuff. All right, Josh, if you, if you want to talk about something, take a pick. Well, I only, one thing. I'll only talk you about one. if you want me to talk. Okay. Yeah. You so, can, you can pick. Sandy, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> just, I really, just, we just need to talk about something. God. You pick, you're talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, right. I'm, gonna, I'm talking about the Godfather. Oh. Um, did you want to talk about the Godfather? Yeah, talk about. Oh, I'll talk, okay, I'll talk <laughs> about the Godfather. What do, you what, do you, what do you know about this? So, it's like a one that. sixth scale action figure of Marlon Brando. It is by Damn Toys. He's got it right. It's by Damn Toys. It's Marlon Brando in the likeliness of Vito Corleone from The Godfather Part 1. And it's the scene where he's at the wedding. And he's saying, do you want... Do you want me to give you some money? Yeah, my yeah and he's got, you can see, you can see <laughs> on the face, <laughs> like get, get right in okay. close to the face, you can see the cotton wool, the cotton balls in his mouth, that's how detailed this is. Uh, it comes complete with a couple of accessories, including a very nice leather chair, um, some red carpet that is very much out of the 70s, um, a cat, because I don't know why he had a cat. It's in the scene! <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying, wouldn't he have rather have had a dog? No! They, they really um, they really went to town on the... Um, the details in this are incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah look, at, look at the chair. Let's look at the chair, because we can actually pick the it up. The chair's amazing. Oh. It surprised me. So it tilts one for, one for one, you can actually change the, the angle at which the chair sits. Um, it's... Uh, there's actually some soft material on the backing of the chair, so they haven't just done it hard plastic. Um, Soft from yeah, the some give to it. It does. It. Uh, so it's it is really really nicely made. Um, the carpet on the stand. So you can have him. You don't have to have him on the chair. You can have him standing up as well. But um, it's actually a nice uh, kind of. That is so seventies carpet. It as is well. so good. It's really nice to touch. Um, he also comes with the side table. Uh, he's got his um, a candle and alcohol and a cup. It's cognac. Con cognac and it's not, it's and, a tele and the telephone and the telephone guys is the best thing of all because uh, oh, it's free <laughs> just like a real one. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I think the best parts of this is not the figure and it's actually all the yeah everything around. Not not to say there's anything wrong with the figure like the likeness is that, amazing. That head sculpt is unreal. It's, That's it's, one of the best. Head it's all fabric. Seen. Uh, custom tailored suit. Uh, it, it's, it really is an incredible piece, and uh, you'd be crazy not to pick that up. My goodness. It's also a collaboration with Blitzway. That, that's 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 probably where the. We'll have to confirm that. that. I think I don't think we know that. Don't. Uh, get out. Um, <laughs> from uh, Asmus Collectible Toys, we have Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, uh, Luke. I believe you have seen this film. Yes. <laughs> yes. Big fan. Big fan. Is it as good as the second one? I'd argue not. Oh, see, I've been seeing the, the second one's the dolphin, isn't it? The, uh, no, the first one's the dolphin. 
Anyway, it's, jungle. Oh. it's it's got a nice goofy likeness of Jim Carrey, um, and uh, he's holding because it does come with some replacement ones. This his his pet detective in the sky. Uh, like his fabrics, fabric outfit yet again. Uh, he comes with interchangeable arms. This one has hidden elbow joints, so it's a little, a little more, a bit more like uh, skin, uh, so you can actually bend the arm. Uh, but he does come with a traditional elbow joint action figure arm as well, if you wanted to pose him some different different angles. Interchangeable hands, uh, great likeness. Um, that is from Asm's Collectible Toys. I highly recommend you add that to your collection. Josh, the Stone Cold Steve Austin statue. Stone Cold Steve Austin by Premium Collectible PCS. Studios? PCS. PCS. Yeah. Um, it's, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin and it's kind of um, trademark victory pose. I have a t-shirt that I wore till it was like... It was black when I got it, it was like white when I finished wearing it, that's how much I wore it. Um, but it's kind of in the same, it's in the same line as the um, quarter scale warrior that they did, the Ric Flair, the Rock, they've done quite a few of these now. Did you bleach the t-shirt? Is that what happened? No, I just wore it so much. Do you know the t-shirt? Did Amy run it in the wash or something? No, I just wore it heaps, wore it all the time. What temperature did you wash it on? <laughs> I hope you went cold, Josh, for the environment. Yeah, I just did the normal. Did you line dry? Yeah. Good. Josh doesn't do his washing. So <laughs> <laughs> um, called Steve Austin. He's very vascular. He's very muscular. He's got a very shiny head and a goatee beard. Um, this line is awesome. I really like this kind of. Uh, it's like WWF era. It's at um, like classic. Uh, yeah. WWF and Attitude Era WWF. Would you say it's man. stunning? <laughs> do you get it, Josh? What do you mean? Because it's his finishing move. What you wore a t-shirt. You don't know his finishing move? I don't know. I wasn't a lot. Stone cold. The stu stone yeah, cold stone. Yeah, it's your head. What do you mean? It's the easiest wrestling move to do as well. You kick him in the gut and then you ram him in your shoulder. <laughs> anyway. Fake fan. Fake fan. Fake fan. Anyway, great turnbuckle detail there. Um, it's a really nice piece from PCS. Yep. Um, Sandy, Court of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, this is a really awesome piece. Uh, so, Court of the Dead Sideshow. Sideshow's in house creative line. Uh, really awesome. Uh, they've created a lot of lore in and around it, and uh, they have three different factions Bone, Spirit, uh, and Flesh. Uh, this one, I believe, is a part of the Bone one. Uh, I'm actually not 100% sure. I didn't read into this one as much, but this is a really awesome piece. All of them knock it out of the park. He's wielding a really. Uh, large blade of gatherers and executioner. This one's actually really awesome. The detail in it uh, is really intense. We've got a really awesome patina look. We've got a hole going straight through his chest on the back side as well. Uh, open ribs, open right? ribs from the explosion. But really awesome. There's nice spirity elements going in, nice resin use. It's really nice and dynamic. And this would be terrifying to, to see. If, like you went to hell and that was it. Like, yeah. Like, Spooky. Too spooky for me, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't want to go to hell now. <laughs> Mine's all ready to go. My hell is uh, a Facebook Live with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> We're already in it. Um, it's not that bad. It's, it's a nice piece. It really is a nice piece. Um, Will, can, can you tell me a little bit about this uh, uh, life size Spider Man set, uh, bust from Sergeant Collector? It's actually Spiderman. <laughs> well, uh, this is the comic book variant of Spider Man by Sideshow Collectibles. It's one to one scale, so it's life size. This is what he would be like if you saw him in real life. Um, awesome detail, as always. Really awesome expression on this one. Um, <laughs> Is <laughs> <laughs> the body is ex <laughs> That's a the body is expressive, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I meant what Andy said. He's, I like. It's not like a bus where he's just still. He's actually sort of interacting. <laughs> it's, um, it's amazing. It's really dynamic. I really like the pose. It really does look like he's perched off the building yeah. and he's yeah. looking around, getting ready to, to take his next look. A lot of Todd's a vibes about this one. Oh. Uh, the white's really nice and pearlescent as well. Uh, so that's that, yeah, 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 that's pearlescent. Yeah. No, what, we're talk what we were talking about, that's good, it's something different. Yeah, yeah, that's, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll Is it out. iridescent? Sorry. Iridescent. Bingo. That's uh -huh. the line. Iridescent. Iridescent. <laughs> iridescent <soil. laughs> um, 
Spider-Man Sideshow. It's made of fiberglass, so it is really light, which means you're probably not going to have any trouble putting it on top of a bookshelf or anything like that. No, it's um, deceivingly light. Yeah. That's what I really like about it. Do you want me to try to lift it up? No, oh, God. No, no, no. You're going to break everything around it if you do that. So. Uh, yeah, and that's what I think, <laughs> for the exact reasons that Ants mentioned, all of their, yeah, uh, yeah. as of like their Sideshow life-size busts, they're really light and, you know, you can put them up high without risk of uh, your whole cabinet collapsing as a result. Being um, misbalanced and overweight. Yeah. And they're really great. They've also done the Joker, they've done Batman, they've done the Hulk, they've done Wolverine, Deadpool, huge amount of characters yeah. in this range. More the bases enough. are all relatively similar, so they do kind of form a nice theme. Yeah. Uh, they're a great collection to have, and they're relatively affordable for a one-to-one -one scale. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, they're great. Yeah. They're great. And Very his back is really muscly. I I haven't looked at it from this angle yet, but um, well, it's got some in a fight between you and Spider Man. I'd say well, Spider Man. No. Like, no, no, <laughs> no webs or anything. It's just. Remember, fits. he's a nerd. Is, is this sort of his spidey sense or is it pre bite? Uh, Under that mask. Because it's just Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've got a sweet Scarlet Witch premium format again by Sideshow. Uh, this is really inspired by the comics, uh, so not. Um, She's the, tearing up Ultron's head. Yeah, oh, it's an. Uh, it's, I think it might be an Ultron Sentry. Uh, it's open to interpretation. <laughs> um, um, yeah, maybe, maybe not. This is a mixed media piece, so you've got a really nice kind of velvet look cape as well that you can pose. It's got wiring in it. Uh, so yeah, you can mould it to however you think she should look or how you think the cape should flow, which is a really nice uh, choice that Sideshow do. So you can kind of add your own flair. It's to spooky. Piece. I really like the fabric. Mm. It makes it really witchy. Yeah, yeah. it's got lots of different um, cool finishes on it too, right? So like... Different textures. Yeah, like so the gloves are really... They look really waxy. Yeah, yeah. And like um, the bodysuit is like a bit more slightly yeah. like satin. But even, then, yeah, the shading yeah. as well, and that's yeah, really yeah, awesome. Really cool. uh, and yeah, all the uh, kind of the, the magic, I think that's a really awesome kind of pink as well effect. They've used it, I think, on, a, on the Jean Grey premium format that they also did, uh, so it's good to see kind of a uh, concurring kind of uh, theme, so you can pair them with other statues and it kind of has a, a little bit of a link. Uh, but yeah, really awesome and a great, you know, dynamic piece which Sideshow really nailed with uh, their premium formats of the like. It's really cool. Uh, from Unruly Industries, um, which is a Titan toy offshoot of Sideshow Collectibles, we have an awesome new piece from Jesse Hernandez, otherwise known as Urban Aztec. This is uh, the latest uh, addition to his... Um, You'll uh, be getting this up, right? You'll be getting this. I really, I'm a really big fan of this. I'm a really big fan of, um, of uh, Jesse's art. And uh, this is the latest in a series. He's also done a bunch of Marvel characters. Um, so I think this might be the first entry into the DC series of it. Um, but Unruly uh, and um, Urban Aztec, have, have, uh, they've got a great line of collaboration between them. And uh, this is really great. Very cool Aztec style. Um, what else has he done? He's done Wolverine, Iron Man, now Batman. I think there was a Deadpool one. There's, we, we just put up a, a Black Panther for pre-order. Um, it's a great series, so definitely do check it out. Unruly Industries are doing some really great things with licensed um, collaborations with artists, so highly recommend checking them out. Uh, and I highly recommend picking up this piece, I'm, I'm a big fan. We don't have much stock either, it's probably not going to last. No, so if you, do, if you do like it, definitely jump on it um, as soon as possible. Uh, well, we've got some cool new hot toys that have just come in. Uh, would you mind telling me about Captain Marvel, Sobers from Avengers Endgame? Yep, this is Hot Toys, guys. This is just about as detailed as it gets. Um, similar to statues and all of the other stuff we've gone through today, really highly detailed, really great. Um, they've got articulation, but you can't actually see the joints in any of these guys, um, which is really awesome. So, first up, we've got Captain Marvel holding the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, I presume this is from the very side of Endgame. Yep, that's Endgame on the base. Um, in a well, classic suit. That's actually the Nano Gauntlet. Just the nanogolus, so that's... <laughs> Look at how small he is. For a second time, well, I'm so uh, sorry. Yeah, it's from the end of Endgame. It's from the end of Endgame, yep. Ooh, look at that. this smug face. Um, can, you, can you, just because you're so smart. Uh, you, you're doing a good job, though. Yeah, no, just sorry, I just really want to... Talk who, about this one. Who did Captain Marvel... What, who, what size is that? Who previously wore that gauntlet? That was the Hulk. Oh, damn. Uh, Try, try, try harder, Sandy. <laughs> anyway, um, really great lightness. 
Um, yeah, just like Brie Larson. Someone just said that it actually looks more like Tom Holland. <laughs> it does a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just too. It's got his little frog mouth. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, everyone. <laughs> Um, also from Avengers Endgame, we have 2012 Captain America. This is a really great piece because uh, it is from the reverse time scene. So it's Cap wearing his, it's contemporary Cap wearing his 2012 outfit. Uh, it but comes you with. can effectively buy two of these hot toys. And recreate uh, the, the fight scene from the correct, front. Yeah. yeah. There's an there's masked head sculpt, and, which we've got shown here, and an unmasked one. Uh, it's got his shield from the film, it's also got a carry case. That does fit the uh, Loki scepter inside, um, which is really really cool. So, uh, really great piece. If you've missed out on getting the original uh, Avengers release of, of the Hot Toy figure, this is a great way to pick up um, Cap in his original Avengers suit uh, with a bunch of other things. And I think this is the only way to get Loki scepter outside of uh, a discontinued Loki Hot Toy. So sure. that's yeah. worth getting it just for the accessory. That's true. Really nice um, suit as well. It looks um, it looks tough. It looks, <laughs> it looks like it's made tough, out of and, it. and does the butt look as good as it does True. on Spin screen? that around, Will. Spin it around. Don't, think it's, don't drop it, Will. Spin it around. Don't drop it's it. America. Oh, America's man. ass. It's a bit there. <laughs> it's good. Oh, we, we will say it's just a little bit. Nah, it's still good. It's still good. <laughs> That's good. That's a good butt. That's better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, we also have Iron Patriot, so this, not to be confused with Captain America, and when, not to be confused with Iron Man. It's Iron Patriot who is War Machine. Who? Oh, here we go, Josh. Yeah. The Marvel expert. What's the name of? Uh, it's the, Captain James Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> so nailing it. Ah, actually. <laughs> um, so when they first started announcing um, War Machine, uh, sorry. Iron Patriot. Iron Patriot stuff. I was like, when the heck was Iron Patriot in the movie? Uh, because he's very, very, it's very small. 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 It's after the war machine armor gets damaged by when the building collapses. He, he has three armors in this movie. It's too many. Yeah. It's too many. But uh, this would go if you if you haven't picked up a Rocket Raccoon hot toy yet from this film. This is the perfect companion piece because this it's how they uh, kind of enter that last fight uh, of the film. Um, uh, so definitely, you want to pick that up. Die cast, massive amounts of metallic paint details, LED aspects. It's it's is it's heavy. It's as detailed as a hot toy is gonna get. Um, it really captured the expression well too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's got a mask on. Everything. Oh, Josh. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> gonna come from Star Wars. We do. Yeah. From Rogue One. No, this is actually what? both, both of these are uh, the Mandalorian uh, releases. Uh, so yes, whilst the short Trooper did first appear in uh, Rogue One, this is the Mandalorian release. Uh, so a, a really awesome aspect of uh, the Mandalorian uh, is that they've incorporated uh, newer designs, um, most particularly from Rogue One, into uh, and into the show. Uh, so just classic infantry Trooper. And the latest arrival in Hot Toys quarter scale rot line is Grogu. And this, of course, looks like a one six scale figure, but it, of course, is not because it is a one quarter scale figure of a much smaller character. So uh, its its head is probably about the same size as you would expect in a one six regular person, but uh, no, one quarter for a little baby Grogu. Uh, great piece, comes with his carriage, which does feature an additional piece that you can close it. Uh, it's got multiple head sculpts, different ears, so you can actually create some nice um, uh, dynamic poses and uh, kind of make him emote in different ways, which is cool. Does come with his Beskar um, little necklace there, uh, blanket, and of course the, the, the shift knob. Um, there is, you can grab Grogu by himself in this form. There is also a version available for pre-order still, which does come with Mandalorian as a two-pack. It's just about the cutest dang thing. It's adorable. Boy, is he adorable. Lastly, we only have one more thing to talk about um, from Bandai again, back on Dragon Ball Super, which is strange because these are from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, there are the scouters, the power level scouters. So these these from, clip on, right? Yeah, so they're, they're kind of like you can, you can wear them. Looks like that. So you can determine power levels um, if you want to do that. Um, Pretty cool to kind of get something like this coming out of that. Um, One size fits line. most, so it should it should help. Unless you have a really big head or a really small. You can, one. Yeah. 
You can look like Adam Fraser, and you can look like Vegeta, or any of the... Is it Fraser Forces? I don't know. I think it is. Um, Great piece of now. Brandi. I, I always like seeing roleplay um, replicas, because there's more benefit to them, I feel, being able to leave the house, and everyone be like, wow, look at that guy. Wow, that guy, um, he's, he's a saiyan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to listen to what he's saying, because... <laughs> Only going to be knowledgeable, good things coming out of his mouth. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, Josh, before we jump into prizes, uh, can you just give everyone a bit of an update on where we're at with orders at the moment? We're, we're, <laughs> we're fully caught up. Uh, if your pre-orders that you've been waiting for haven't shipped just yet, they'll be shipping early doors next week. Um, and we'll be starting to get back to your uh, email and Facebook inquiries and stuff like that if we haven't already. And if your issue hasn't resolved itself, we've had a pretty massive couple of weeks here. we have worth of pre-orders. Yeah. We'll rock up in a six week period. Yeah, they all come in on hundreds containers. Of, hundreds There's of a bunch of delays and things like that. And then Chinese New Year throws things out as well because that's where the manufacturers are at. But we've, we've broke the back of it. We're totally through it. We're getting everything sent out. Um, we're in a pretty good position and we've just, yeah, had a massive few weeks where everybody's been on deck getting those orders processed. And, well, and normal service time should be? We'll be back to normal. Come, uh, come April. And we appreciate your patience as well. We really so do. We really do. Um, let's do some prizes, huh? Let's do some prizes. Uh, Alright, so the first prize we're going to be giving away the A-Team. Um, the A-Team... Pick it up from uh, the I, I did. <laughs> I saw where to pick it up. Uh, A-Team Playmobil vehicle replica. Uh, it's a great piece. Um, and uh, it will survive a drop onto concrete. So, uh, my goodness, that's, that's quality. Um, so, uh, let's give away the prize. All we need to do is spin this wheel, right, Luke? Oh, and he's gonna win. My goodness, we're spinning. <laughs> it's happening. And it is going. It's going. But, the important part is, who's gonna land on? Who's gonna win the 18 man? It's gonna, gonna be the 18. Brad Harris, congratulations! Uh, just send us a private message on Facebook, please, with your name, personal information, and email address. And com, 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 congratulations. Oh, well done, Josh. Uh, we'll get that sent out to you early next week. Uh, other prize that we said we're going to give away is the Bambi backpack from Loungefly. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, very it's cottage core. Cottage core. <laughs> Are these little stunts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah, and you listen to my in-depth review of this product, Luke, you would have... Well, I was paying a little bit more attention, but I was busy doing that. You were doing a Josh. Yeah. Doing a Josh. Uh, no, excuse me. Let's, uh, let's give it another spin, find out who's going to win. Let's do a little bit back before long. What are you having to do in the top box? Oh my god, we're busy. <laughs> And the winner of the backpack is Jack Spester. Congratulations. Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your personal information, and your email address, and we'll get that sent out to you first thing next week. Last but not least, we are going to give away one more prize, and this is the thing I do now. I just pick a prize at random, and that prize probably is just going to be Winnie Houston uh, exclusive pop. So let's. As soon as it's hot in the back, it felt like it was going to fall off. What happened to the wheel? <laughs> That's a bit of a... That's a lot. A lot. Uh, Louisa McGregor, congratulations! You won a Whitney Houston off-line thing. I've been all Funko exclusive. It's smaller than average Funko exclusive sticker there as well. Yeah, it is. said little, but yeah. it actually is quite small. Uh, but not to say that's bad or anything. Um, <laughs> Let's say more of the pop. It's a good pop. Uh, please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, personal information, email address. We'll get that pop sent out to you uh, personally next week. Guys, this has been a week in review here at Pop Culture. Thanks for watching. Once again, we'll be back next week with more awesome things to show you and maybe even more hosts next week. Who knows? Uh, but from Pop Culture, it has been Andy, Luke, Sandy, Josh, Blake behind the camera, and of course, Hanson Well, in the end of the episode. Um, <laughs> We'll catch you next week for another exciting uh, affair. Uh, oh boy, we'll see you then. <laughs>